On the evening of June 5th, 1944, U.S. forces were preparing for the largest airborne and amphibious landings on the Atlantic Wall in Normandy, also known as D-Day. So in the early mornings of June 6th, of 1944, thousands of men from the 101st Airborne and 82nd Airborne parachuted into hostile territories they're behind enemy lines that would flank those who were coming up the beaches on Normandy or later on that morning. And here we find a Franciscan friar by the name of Father Ignatius Maternerski, who was a chaplain who served in the 82nd Airborne, but he was also a Franciscan friar uh, prior to his service in the military with the conventional friars. He did his novitiate at St. Joseph's Novitiate in Ellicott City. But during the war on, Ju on June 6th, on D-Day, he had parachuted in, in France in a town near Picoville. And it was there that after his landing, he put on the chaplain in insignia and started assisting those who were wounded soldiers, uh, even frightened villagers, uh, even to the enemies, even to those who had been shot, those who were German. And it was during this conflict that he decided he would go across to this no man's land and on to the other side and make negotiations with the German medics to build, to, to establish a field hospital. And by the accounts, it seems like that was going to go through. But it was on his return back to the, the U.S. side that somebody had shot him in the back of the head. But it was his silent witness of his sacrifice, of his humility, and the goodness of his heart to serve both those that he was fighting for and those that he was fighting against. In the true spirit of serving both God and and country, we find this embodied in the life and virtues of Father Ignatius Matanerski.